The respiratory system. Respiration is a process by which an organism takes up oxygen and uses it to oxidize food substances and release carbon dioxide, water vapor and energy. Mammals are provided with a special organ called the lung which receives oxygen from the air and expels carbon dioxide into it. The passage along which the gases pass is called the respiratory tract. The lung together with the respiratory tract forms the respiratory system. The parts of the respiratory system are nose and nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, singular bronchus, bronchioles, alveoli, and lungs. Nose Air enters the body through the nose. Externally, the nose consists of two nostrils. Internally, it opens into the nasal cavity. The lining of the nasal cavity secretes a sticky substance which traps harmful organisms. The hair lining the cavity also acts as a filter and prevents the entry of harmful substances. As the air passes through the nasal cavity, it is warmed and made moist. Functions of the nose are to prevent the entry of harmful substances into the body, and warm the air and add moisture to it as it passes into the body. It helps us perceive smell. Pharynx The nasal cavity leads into the pharynx. The pharynx is the common chamber for food and air. The pharynx leads into the larynx. The opening of the pharynx into the larynx is guarded by a muscular flap called epiglottis. At the time of swallowing food, the epiglottis closes the opening and prevents food from entering the windpipe. The function of the epiglottis At the time of swallowing food, the epiglottis closes the tracheal opening, thereby preventing the food from entering the windpipe. Larynx The larynx is a rectangular chamber which has cords made of cartilage. Cartilage is a tough fibrous tissue. As air passes over these cords, the cords vibrate and produce sound. Therefore, the larynx is also called the voice box. Trachea or windpipe. The trachea is a 12 cm muscular tube made up of C-shaped rings of cartilage. The lumen, that is the inner open space of the tube, is kept open by the cartilage rings. Bronchi. The trachea divides and enters each of the two lungs as a bronchus. Bronchioles. Each bronchus divides into smaller branches called bronchioles. Alveoli. The bronchioles end in blind air sacs called alveoli. The wall of the alveolus is very thin. Oxygen and carbon dioxide easily diffuse in and out of the body across the tissue of the alveoli. Lungs The lungs are a pair of spongy sacs present in the chest cavity protected by the rib cage and the pleural membranes. The left lung is two-lobed and slightly smaller than the right lung. The right lung has three lobes. Blood rich in carbon dioxide enters the lungs and completely envelops the alveoli. Carbon dioxide passes across the alveoli and is exhaled or breathed out. The oxygen that is inhaled through the nose passes into the blood. Breathing On reaching the alveoli, the oxygen diffuses out into the blood capillaries formed by branching of the pulmonary artery. At the same time, carbon dioxide from the blood diffuses into the alveoli. The low concentration of oxygen in the capillaries and the high concentration of carbon dioxide in the inspired air accounts for this gaseous exchange. The oxygenated blood is taken to the heart from where it enters into the systemic circulation. The coordinated action of the diaphragm ribs and chest muscles are responsible for drawing in the fresh air inspiration as well as for expelling the waste gases that is expiration breathing and respiration breathing is a physical or mechanical process of inhaling that is taking in and exhaling that is giving out respiratory gases an organism must possess organs or apparatus such as gills or lungs for breathing Respiration is a chemical process in which gaseous exchange takes place across the cell membrane and complex carbohydrates are broken up with the help of enzymes to liberate carbon dioxide, water vapor and energy. No apparatus is needed. 
even a single celled amoeba respires. What is the mechanism of inspiration and expiration? Inspiration Inspiration of air occurs when the volume of the thoracic cavity is increased. When the volume increases, the pressure in the thoracic cavity becomes lower than the outside atmospheric pressure. Hence, atmospheric pressure forces air into the lungs through the nose and trachea. Expiration When the volume of the thoracic cavity is reduced, the pressure of the air inside the thoracic cavity becomes greater than the outside atmosphere. Hence, air from inside the lungs is expelled through the trachea and nose to the outside to equalize the internal and external pressure. The changes in the volume of the thoracic cavity during inspiration and expiration is brought about by the coordinated contraction and relaxation of the intercoastal muscles and the diaphragm.